Does anybody need this frequency for any kind of emergency use for we talk boat anchors? K5LYN. Silence is golden. Good evening, folks. This is K5LYN, Lynn in Austin. We get together here on Wednesday evenings and talk about vintage radios. Most of us are on uh, one type of vacuum tube radio or another. Folks come by on hybrids, and folks come by on modern radios. If they're interested in what we're doing, everybody's welcome. Once in a while, somebody comes by on AM. If you're on AM, carefully zero beat, because most of us don't have any kind of RIT. I'm on a Central Electronics 20A from the year, oh, mid-1950s, and I figured out a way to make it transceive with a companion receiver by building a transceive adapter. So my VFO for this 20A is a Halicrafters SX-115, top-of-the-line receiver by Halicrafters in the very early 60s, and after uh, six hours of warm-up, it's still drifting down the band. Buy-sell trades are welcome if they're vintage radio-related. And if you have a problem with the radio you're working on, this is a great place to ask for advice because there's a lot of expertise reflected here. I'm going to take uh, probably uh, WW9WBZADC, if he's still here, 1E, 5Q, and SED, and then I'll give it to Jay, and then Jay can pick up some folks, and then he can give it to Rusty. And you guys way up north, uh, Rusty's great at picking up the people that we here in the southern part of Texas don't hear. Okay, hey, Robert, WW9W, you still over there somewhere? K5LYF. Okay, I don't think uh, Robert is in there, but he'll be back. Uh, and, Terry, if that was you, it's going to take more signal than that for me to hear you. How about, uh, how about uh, KG5BZ, Ron? Okay, Ron, if you said uh, how people are going to get in contact with you, I missed it. Oh, yeah, I did not. Uh, 512, area code 512, just like yours up there, Lynn and Austin. 7906-7311, back to that. Okay, good to hear you, Ron. How about uh, WD5ADC? Rick, didn't I hear you a while ago? k 5 lyn yeah, Len, you sure did. This is Rick, uh, Whiskey Delta 5, Alpha Delta Charlie down in Harlington, uh, in the Rio Grande uh, Delta. And uh, tonight I'm on the uh, TSA 20, which I've been working on and trying to get it to stabilize. It may and may not have. It looks like it has. And uh, I'm on the uh, Ameritron Amp, uh, AL-1200, and going through uh, Miller Auto Center and do an inverted of about 30 feet over. Well, Rick, I'm not hearing you nearly as loud as I usually do. Besides different radios, is something different? No, I'm putting out the uh, <laughs> legal limit. Nothing has changed. Okay. All right, just something weird on this end then. Good to hear you. Anything else for the net this evening? No, not a thing. You're, by the way, you're, uh, oh, I'd say about 20 over, so... Uh, I don't know what's going on. Well, it, it may be all the receive issues on my end, certainly a possibility. I didn't state, by the way, my 20A, my 15 watts out of the 20A is driving four 6DQ5s to, uh, to about 400 watts, so uh, it ought to be talking. Okay, uh, Rick, anything else for the net this evening? No, sir, 73. All right, how about WB1E? What do you say, Doug? Hey, good evening, everybody. This is Doug here and uh, Brian, Texas here. <laughs> Turn up a little bit. And uh, so, WB1E, and just uh, enjoying the sounds and the drifts and uh, not a whole lot of comments yet. I do have one question for the group, and that is, uh, what is your favorite way to 
clean socket pins, for instance, the 9-pin uh, vacuum tube socket. What's your favorite? Way up one. I don't know if it's very destructive or not, but it's, uh, it, it works. Uh, but in any event, in some cases, you just don't or you can't replace the, the socket due to there's so much circuitry in the way. Uh, so anyway... Talking to you tonight on a Swan 500, going out through a Henry Classic 2X, uh, through a inverted B at uh, 95 feet. So there you go. Everybody's sounding great. Back to Nat Lynn. Uh, awesome job. And everybody's 7-3. This is Doug, WB Winnie. Doug, the only thing I've ever done is clean the tube pins with cleaner and stick them back in the socket. Does anybody else have any comment for Doug about that? Well, <laughs> keep us posted, Doug. Yeah, well, I was using, a, I think, a number 80 drill bit. It was that bad. It was corroded beyond uh, repair. Uh, well, I should say uh, beyond uh, without replacing the socket, and it happened to be in a, an IF section, so I didn't really want to mess with it. It was kind of buried. <laughs> so anyway, thanks a lot, Lynn. Okay, great sound and swan, as always. Uh, KE5Q, hey, Jim, what about it? K5LYN. Yeah, K5LYN and the nest this Hello, Echo 5, Kovacs, uh, Jim and Plano, and uh, thanks to uh, K5C, Richard, and to Rusty, I, I now have the uh, have a uh, 117C power supply for the Swan 350. This was uh, my dad's uh, bought in 1965, so glad to get it back on the air. Moving the original microphone that, uh, that he used which is the Turner 454 uh, uh, ceramic microphone. And this is the uh, 8040 Ultimax. And uh, hearing everybody pretty well, so wonder how we're sounding there. k 5 in the net, K-E-5-Q, Plano. I don't know what else you could do to it to make any better, Jim. Sounding great. Uh, uh, keep, uh, keep us posted on that station. All right. Let's move on to uh, K0SCD. How about it, Steve? K5LYN. K5LYN. K0SCD. Well, good enough, Lynn. Uh, boy, up in Tyler, it's uh, another beautiful day. Uh, tonight I'm on a TS520. 30 one the dipole up about inverted V, about 40-odd feet. And that's about it from uh, Tyler, Texas. Good to hear, everyone. KZOSED, back to you. Okay, Steve. By the way, does my voice sound like it's getting a little bit low, like I'm drifting up the band? Most of y'all are down the band just a little bit from me. How does it sound on your end? Uh, pretty close to me. Okay, we won't rock the boat then. You're sounding great, Steve. Great to hear you. All right, let's go back and see if WW9W's there. How about it, Robert? Over to you. All right, k 5 w 9 Hey, Jim. Hello, everybody. Oh, I tell you what, the thing will sound real good up here, Lynn. Sure does. I'm running the old Collins KWM2 this evening with the uh, 30 l one about 600 watts into the Ultimic double bazooka, 8040. The old Shure microphone, Shure 444, on the, uh, on the uh, KWM2. And don't have much else. Uh, didn't get a chance to uh, do my pushy talk. I'm going to do it this weekend. I was... Uh, tied up uh, this past weekend, so uh, I should have my 28, next, by next Thursday, uh, I mean next Wednesday, I should have it set so I don't have to use six hands to operate it, Roger. Well, I'm on my 28, full push to talk uh, tonight, and uh, the, the 15 watts is driving four 6DQ5s, homebrew, so this is, a, what you hear is what you hear. Well, it's sounding good, too. It sounds good, sure does. Okay, man, appreciate you. Have a good, uh, good net, and we'll see you next time. Keep five L Y N and the uh, boat anchor W W nine W. I'll see you later. Okay. Yeah, good enough. I may send you one more note about that uh, push to talk uh, modification. Great to hear you, Robert. Great signal into Austin. Okay, Jay, want to do it? K M five Q S K five L Y N. All righty, we'll see what we can do here. Let me do a little adjustment. Okay, maybe this will keep me in the ballpark for a few minutes. <laughs> this is JKM5QS in Alice, Texas, on a set of Kenwood Twins tonight. Uh, there's a 599 Deltas, 
and uh, they've still got the Japanese power cords on them. So I don't know what that means, but they work pretty good. Driving a pair of 3CX 800s uh, uh, through a uh, dummy load type pad so I don't blow it up. Homebrew antenna and all that good stuff. All that being said, let's see. Uh, how about KK5DR? Matt, you in there? Who, me? Uh, this is KK5DR out here near Page, Texas. It was about 95 degrees today, nice and sweaty at work. Uh, tonight I'm on the uh, Yezu uh, Fox Tango 1000 Delta, barefoot, 250 watts out. Got a Yezu MD1 desk mic on it. Goes uh, straight up into the uh, 250 foot long double zip at 60 feet off the ground. And uh, that's how things are down here on uh, the Pat Chicken Ranch. Oh, a little bit of news. The, uh, my FT-102 station is down right now. Uh, the relays have finally failed completely in it. So uh, time to put her up on the, up on the uh, jacks and uh, so, uh, you know, fix some things in it. Uh, I'll get to that. Uh, it's way on, way down the list of, uh, of priorities on the projects right now. I got several projects, so it's going to be a while. So this old uh, 1991 vintage uh, 1000 deal have to do until then. KK5 DR. Alrighty, now that old 1000D is living up to its reputation. So that 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 ought to keep you busy and keep you in. Uh, Keep you doing it while the while the 102 languishes on the side. <laughs> anyway, talk to you later. Uh, well, let's see. WA5 EDX Byron, your turn, sir. Maybe Byron can't hear me. WA5 EDX, are you out there? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, yeah, I'm your here, turn. Jay. Sorry, you caught me. Way across the room with my pants down. Hi, hi. Well, maybe the pants not down, but way across the room anyway. So stumbled back over here, uh, over the rigs, and got back on the Kenwood 820S tonight as usual, driving the HX, HXL1 Hammerlin linear. About 400 watts, I guess, and into the old inverted V up there. Got to be a hot one here in Bluffdale today. Uh, but the humidity was down a little bit, lower dew point, so uh, it was uh, almost bearable. Let's put it that way. Uh, good to hear everybody on the net tonight. Y'all take care, stay cool, and stay uh, stay virus free. Play with radios, that's safe. Just don't lick the high voltage. Back to you, Jay, wa 5 <laughs> Yeah, good advice. Keep one hand in your pocket. All right, Byron, good deal. Sounded great on that 820 down here. All right, that's, uh, I've been a little busy. I didn't have time to make a list, so I will take uh, check-ins at this time. Come now, please. OJB. Hi, Fox Tango. Whiskey 5 Tango Fox Tango. K5 HPG. WD5 ROM. OJB. K5 Bravo India Zebra. Okay, I've got about four, uh, I think. Well, let, me <laughs> let me see what we can do here, and then we'll go from there. Uh, Denver, I know that's you out there. All right, yes, this is N5OJB, Denver, Gonzales, Texas. Talking to you on a TS820, uh, driving an NCL2000, and you're using a fan dipole, and I'm using a Sure uh, SM57 microphone. Uh, and back to you, Jay. Okay, Denver, good deal. Sounded good, as usual. Uh, let's see, FTP, your turn. Okay, uh, Jay, good evening to you and everyone on the boat anchors. This is Paul, Portugal, Alpha United, London. I'm in Jasper, Texas. I don't know if that's the set of twins I saw you at Belton a couple years ago or not, but uh, that sounded pretty good. Um, I've got a problem with... Uh, a squeal in my 520 on the audio side. 
and I've changed to two or three different microphones that I know that work. I pull them off of the radios. Uh, any any way to point me in the right direction on what to do? Ooh, um, a squeal in the audio when you key down? Yes, sir. I mean, I can't hear it, but uh, the receiving end says it's just it's just squealing, overbearing, it's taking over the audio. Oh, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, anybody got any ideas? When he keys the mic on his 520, the people on the other end can hear a squeal in the audio when it's blanking him out, but he can't hear it on his side. So has anybody got any ideas what it might be? Uh, K5LY, and I got a question about it. Go ahead. When the, do, you, do you see, when you look at the meters on the on the transceiver, does it show that it's putting out a lot of power or just a little bit or what? No, so, uh, then it's putting out power, sure is. Okay, all right. Well, figure out some way to listen to it on another receiver and see what it sounds like to you there in the shack, and that might help you narrow it down a little bit. Okay, Lynn, thank you. And thank you, Jay. Thanks for letting me in here tonight with you guys. Always enjoyed it. W5FPT Jasper. Okay, Paul. Yeah, no problem. I just wished I was, uh, I've been a little distracted all day. Uh, I'm sure, well, if, anyway, never mind. Good luck with it. <laughs> uh, Tango Foxtrot, your turn, sir. Yeah, hey, uh, thank you, old man. Uh, name here is Cherry. I'm located near Laurel, Mississippi, uh, running the uh, R4B receiver tonight with the, uh, Electronics 100B transmitter driving a pair of 813s D104 mic double bazooka up about 35 feet. I've been trying to get in with you guys, but the conditions have not been right. I'm hearing everybody pretty well tonight, so thanks for letting me get in. W5 Tango Foxtrot. Okay, Terry, no problem. Good to hear you from down there. Um, well, it'll get tough. It'll get better as the evening wears on, uh, as the season wears on, I hope also. But uh, anyway, sounding good down here. So thank you for checking in, sir. Appreciate it. See you next week. Uh, next is Hotel Papa Bravo. Your turn, sir. Would that be K5 HPG? Yes, sir. It sure could. Go ahead. Yeah, this is K5 Hotel Papa Golf. I'm in uh, Petal, Mississippi, just about uh, 30 miles on the road from uh, uh, W5TF. I'm on a uh, Central Electronics 28 with a 458 VFO that goes up and down the band while it talks. Uh, great TV receiver, and my microphone is a uh, Sennheiser 421, an old white thing like the Beatles used to use a long time ago. And I am pushing a pair of homebrew uh, 4 400s. Uh, I guess I'm going about uh, 800 watts right now. Uh -huh. Well, if they're all making it down here, it's no problem copying it all. Uh, it sounds good. That's 228s tonight. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, I'm sorry, HPG. I, I didn't. Uh, I didn't copy your name down. Oh, that's because I forgot to get it. It's Hugh Hotel Uncle Golf Hotel, Hugh down in Pella, Mississippi. Over. Okay, Hugh. Good deal. All righty. We'll look for you next time. Um, Rusty, that's about six or seven for me. So uh, I'll, I guess I'll let you have some fun. WK5R KM5QF. Okay, okay, KM5, oh, wait a minute here, hang on, I think I'm pretty close, yeah, okay, I'm not getting much audio there, huh, yeah, I am, I'm just not got my body, yeah, there we go, okay, this is WK5R, we're on the usual HC37 transmitter, and the, uh, this evening is on the, uh, 706 Mark 2 and I think I'm flipping down the band, yep, Hang on, Jeff. Hello, hello, there we go. Okay. Now, uh, and the microphone is an Audio Technica AC2035, and we're driving the Homebrew GS35B amplifier uh, into a fan dipole that's about so close to 50 feet. All right, with that, who else for the Bowlinkers Unlimited come now?
Kilo 5 X ray Bravo. Kilo 5 X ray Bravo, go ahead. Yeah, hello, everybody. I'm Bobby Kirchner, K 5 XB. My name is Larry. I'm in Emory, Texas. I'm running Swan 500C tonight. Uh, the double zoo is up about 30 feet. The microphone's a sure 404C. All right, yeah, sounded good from memory over there. Uh, I believe so, but they're uh, they're kind of expensive. You might try uh, RF parts. I don't know what the price is on them, but uh, I think they're fairly expensive. You can check RF parts. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. Uh, check RF parts. Whoa, what happened? Hello? You're still in the ballpark. Yeah. Okay. Back to the net. WB5. R-O-N. Me. KM5QS. Rustic, we lose you. K5LY. Uh, no, I'm back now. Okay. <laughs> I fell out by 706 and I lost my, I'm getting the headphones, I lost my receive. Anyway, uh, you know, our, our Ron's pretty checking in there and uh, that would be what I would do. I would check their price there. And that ought to be somewhere around ballpark. You might just Google, if you have access to the internet, you might just Google and see what uh, come up with there. Uh, hello, 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 hello. Oh, the only thing that's moving around on me still is a little bit. Uh, hello. Okay. Uh, there. Now. All right. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh, I need a steering wheel on that thing. But that's what I would do, Ron. Anything else for the net? No, that's good. Right uh, uh, I'm putting out about a thousand. I hope you got a good signal. I do. Is there somebody else there? Okay, we'll get you in a second there, Doug. Uh, all right, uh, I appreciate you checking in there, uh, uh, Ron. All right, the station that I spoke to just before Ron uh, was there uh, that I acknowledged, uh, not one of the a Delta something in it. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Uh, this is WA5, Whiskey Alpha 5, Delta India Golf. Uh, and the handle here is Dennis, located uh, Air Troop, Texas, T R O U P, Troop, Texas. And running a, uh, uh, running a TS 930 Sierra into an uh, 80 meter double of antenna and. Uh, um, Probably running about uh, 150 watts of EV. So uh, this is WA5, Whiskey Alpha 5, Delta India Dome, and you buy. Okay, uh, Dennis, uh, the 930 Kenwood sounds good. Uh, I know where Truth is, down sort of in the uh, Tyler area, a little south of it there. Anyway, appreciate you checking in on the Kenwood. Okay, uh, Doug, W5IS, go ahead. 
Good afternoon. All on the boat answering Ed, they can hear me. I'm uh, running barefoot tonight on the PR uh, and uh, I'm going to be the 103 so I can see where I'm at on the frequency anyway. And uh, sure, just a full microphone and a uh, double bazooka, about 35 foot. And uh, I won't hold it because probably, uh, I don't know if you hear me or not, uh, my power dropped off a good bit. W5I, appreciate you picking me up. Uh, yeah, uh, now the PR force ate you. I drink it, doing fine. I heard everything you said, no problem. Okay, uh, who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Kilo Charlie 6, Charlie November, November. Kilo Charlie 6, Charlie November, November, go ahead. How's everybody tonight? Uh, this is Gerald down in Arlington, Texas. And I'm coming to you tonight with just a little bit of difference. I'm uh, still using the MC50 microphone to the uh, Kenwood TS530 SP. And tonight I changed the amplifier. I'm running the uh, MLA 2500 Dentron amp and going to a Palstar tuner and uh, to a 600 ohm ladder line doublet that's in the inverted V at 40 feet. And hoping I'm getting out. Um, back to next. Okay, yeah. Uh, from part of it down there, the uh, TS30 uh, SP is uh, sounding. Uh, uh, right there, and the uh, MLA 2500 is doing the trick. So, I uh, appreciate you checking in. Who else is the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Mike Steele moved again. Hey, Rusty? Yes, sir. Can I have it for a few? We've got some of the earlies we haven't picked up. Okay. I'll pass it on back to you, Lynn, and I'll catch some more on the next round. K5LYN, WK5R. Go ahead. Okay, thanks for picking up all those folks up there. This is K5LYN, Lynn and Ross and returning. Hey, I don't think we ever heard uh, Ralph. Ralph, N5BTM, did we get you, K5LYN? Yeah, good evening there, Lynn and Annette. Uh, K5LYN, this is N5BTM. Ralph and Spring, uh, 30 miles north of Sanctuary City. And uh, tonight we are on a Heath kit. I think this is the first Heath kit. No, it's the second Heath kit I've heard tonight. We're on up there in Oklahoma is running one. So we may have to uh, pay homage to the uh, Central Electronic folks after it's all over with. But in any event, Green Machine tonight, SB100. And that's driving a uh, homebrew linear a GS35B grounded grid, about 800 watts. Sure, 4-4 microphone and all that's going through a Drake MN 2700 antenna tuner. And today we completed a project, uh, small potatoes, but uh, we had ATT out, did a little work on the TV. They had to replace a wireless access point that had a beautiful little power supply, a little wall work. So with that, uh, took the wall work and made a uh, buffer relay out of it. So it's pretty cool. Power supply plugs in and out to an old jack I used to have. So anyway, that's about the size of it here, Lynn. Uh, K5LYN in 5BTM. Very good work on your part, Ralph. The uh, station sounds great. All right, let's see. Let's see if there's some other still people out there. How about K5BIZ? Biz, are you still there? Ah, uh, yes, I am, Lynn. K5BIZ. Handle is Biz. I'm up in North Dallas, Texas. Tonight's got a brand new radio. Uh, well, new for me. Been work on it for the last four weeks. It's a Heath Kit HW12. A Heath Kit single bander. Uh, of course, this one is the 80 meter one. Uh, these things were made back in 1963. That's uh, 57 years ago. And uh, back then they cost $120. So this has got to be the, the cheapest commercial sideband rig you, you could have bought at the time. And uh, uh, it was quite popular. A lot of people bought these things for, for mobile uh, kind of applications. Now, 14 tubes in one single big circuit board. And the finals were six GE5s. 
So the, the tubes were fairly common tubes in the 65, even today, 57 years later, are still fairly cheap compared to 6146s and the 6, uh, LQ6s and JB6s and so on. So um, that's, uh, that's, if you ever wondered what, what, what one of these heat good single binders uh, sounds like, uh, you're listening to one. Um, I'm, I'm hooking it up to my Ameritron 811 amplifier, and uh, she's putting out about 500 watts into an inverted B, 40 feet high. So that's the rundown tonight. Um, this is going to be my coffee radio, and uh, every morning I turn it on with a little bit of coffee, and I'll tune around 80 meters and see what's going on before I, I start my day. So back to you, Lynn. Uh, this is uh, K5BIZ. Sid is talking up a storm, and there's a lot of those uh, single-band uh, deep kits on the net. In fact, Ralph, who just talked before you did, K5, uh, N5BTM, has one or two of them. They're, they're amazing radios, and uh, it's, uh, it's amazing after so many years how well they've hung in there. Anything else on your end this evening, Biz? Nope, that's it. Uh, we'll take it back to you, Lynn, and uh, anxious to hear the rest of the guys uh, check in. Okay, well, let's uh, let's see if we can get some more check-ins. I've got DAR, TXW, and MTT I know of that were there. Let's see if they're still around. How about DAR? Mike, are you still there? K5LYN. All right, if Mike uh, comes back, he can let us know. How about TXW? What do you say, George? Well, we're in all around the net. Well, I'm on a solid state transceiver, a solid state amp. I uh, didn't tune up all the... Tube radio, so I'll just say hello and sit back and listen. WB5TXW back to the net. Okay, I came down in frequency a little bit. I uh, might be a little bit more on the target there. Sounding good, George. All right, uh, we'll catch you on our morning walks one of these days. How about uh, how about it? WA5MTT. What do you say, Mike? Yeah, hello, Lynn, and uh, everybody in the net this evening. Uh, tonight we're on the the uh, Collins S line winged emblem station, 1961 vintage, uh, 75S2 receiver, 32S1 transmitter, and the amplifier is a Collins 30S1. Uh, microphone is uh, Electro Voice 674. Um, that's that's it, Lynn. That, I just turned it on and. Man, the thing goes. I haven't, I haven't touched the knob since the last time I checked in about a month ago. So uh, there you go. Back to you. Mike, when we hear that uh, Collins 30S1, we are knowing we know we're talking to a courageous man. Over. Well, like you told me before, I'm probably, uh, other than Sammy, the only person that owns two of them. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I owned one. That was enough for me. Nice work, Mike. Anything else for the net this evening? No, that's it. Just uh, somebody do a rain dance. All right, sure enough. All right, uh, we're listening for KC5L, Tom, because we need one more central electronics uh, radio in the group. Did, did we pick up W5IS at Doug Talk? Yeah, I did. Okay, all right. All right, that may be about all I know that uh, we uh, Let's see, DAR, Mike, are you there? How about Sammy, DPP? Sammy, you want to talk? Okay, then all the people that I know of that were around, we have picked up. So let me give it back to Jay, and we can go around the table again. KM5QS, what do you say, Jay? K5LYN. Okay, I think I'm reasonably close to frequency. <laughs> At least you all sounding good. I'm not used to this MC50. I have to close talk it more than I did the electric but hopefully it's still sounding all right. Uh, I'll get my foot switch fixed before next week, hopefully. Okay, folks, this is the Boat Anchors Unlimited. Anyone else out there we haven't talked to yet, come now, please. Comment, WA5EDX. Kilo 5, Lima Tango. Oh, there's Lima Tango. Uh, just a second. Uh, EDX, you have a uh, Cree check, Byron? Uh, yeah, I just had a quick comment on that. Nobody's commented on that uh, squealing microphone uh, issue on the Kenwood, I believe it was. Was it Paul? I was just going to suggest he, he, he start out by checking his mic ground, uh, the ground for the mic, both in the mic and, I guess, in the rig. And I didn't hear him say if he had tried more than one mic with that. But I would check grounds real good on the mic input and... 
Uh, once he checks the grounds, he might even uh, check the electrolytics and the audio board. Sometimes uh, a lot of AC hum can start an oscillation like that, I believe. So, just my comment. Back to you. No, oh, okay, Brian. Thank you. That reminded me of... I almost thought of the mic ground. That's always a good thing to check the mic ground. Hugh, if you're still listening, uh, let me see. K5 Fox Papa Tango. That's Paul, not you. Excuse me. Um, check your mic ground. Check your connections. You might have a broken wire in the mic cord or something like that to the ground. And uh, then Byron said, if that's not it, uh, Check the electrolytics in the audio circuit. Uh, you might have one of them breaking down. I uh, hope that helps. Okay, K5LT, your turn, sir. Uh, good evening, Jay, and everyone else on the net. Same here as Lyle, the Yankee Lima Echo, uh, located in Santa Barbara, Texas. Running the Heath Kit, Heath Kit SB101 tonight, going through the Heath Kit SB221 amp, up to uh, double extended zip, running through the cedar trees. And, and y'all are talking about checking grounds uh, and a few camps. I am a poster child for that one. Um, I've had some trouble with this Heath Kit with grounds and, and a couple of caps that drove me nuts for a couple of months until I finally found them. And so, yeah, just keep at it. Uh, I'm the poster boy, so. We've been there, done that. So, everybody sounded good. It's in the rain, and we'll talk to y'all next week. You can't find them, Elsie. Okay, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a little afraid of that stuff, too. I had a, I had a Collins uh, 32S1 that uh, I couldn't figure it out, and turned out it was a uh, capacitor and uh, a resistor on the very beginning of the audio circuit coming into the radio. Replace that. Works like a hose ever since. You never know. Anyway, <laughs> that's what makes it fun. Thank you, Lyle. Who's next for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now, please. Kilo, Charlie, 5 Lima. Uh, I think I heard a Whiskey United, and uh, there was, a, was that Charlie something? A kilo, Charlie, 5 Lima. KC5L. Okay, let me get KC5L and then I'll try the other one. Hey, good evening, Jay and uh, the Bone Anchors Net. Uh, Tom, KC5L in San Antonio. And uh, tonight we're running, uh, we're talking on a Central Electronics uh, 200B, D104 microphone, Power Star Balance Line Tuner into a uh, dipole of about uh, 50 feet and uh, listening on an R398. So uh, just wanted to get in there per uh, uh, Lynn's comments and uh, add my uh, uh, central electronics to the list there. Anyhow, that's all I have. So uh, back to you, Jay, and the boat anchor stand, kc 5 Okay, Tom. Thank you, sir. Uh, station, uh, I think it was Whiskey United. Uh, come now. Whiskey 5 x Oh, go ahead, David. Thank you, Jay. Sorry about being late. I was in the yard all day today. And uh, on the TR-7, barefoot. So uh, I probably don't have the signal that I used to have. But it was good. Anyway, uh, God bless you all. Good to hear everybody here today. W5SU. Thank you, Jay. Okay, David. Well, that TR-7 is making it down here. Um, I didn't have any problem talking to you once I once I started listening. <laughs> but uh, thanks for checking in. And you don't have to apologize. You're just glad you got here. Okay, um, who's next on the list I don't have anymore for the Boat Anchors Unlimited coming out? Hey, Jay, I got a quick comment for David. Sure, go right ahead. Hey, David, K5LY, and I heard you fine barefooted. Be sure and tell Nick we had three Central Electronics operators on this evening, and he's absent without authority. Over. Uh, uh, that's uh, that's all kind of a record. I'll tell him. Make sure. Okay. Back to you, Jay. Okay. 
<laughs> well, you got to you got to get your licks in while you can. All right, folks. Uh, anyone else we have to talk to for the boat actors unlimited? Come down. Well, Rusty, why don't you see if you can stir some up? WK5R KM5QS. KM5QS WK5R. Okay, who else for the boat actors unlimited net come now? Good evening, Perry. Tell us about it. Now that the tuner upper uh, has shut it down. 
This is K5LYN. It's been a great net tonight. We may uh, be winding it down, but let's see if there's anybody else out there that wants to talk to us. I'm listening. Recheck WD586. Uh, Rick, is that you? Yeah, with the info on this time. Well, I thought there was something wrong a while ago. Okay, well, uh, how do I sound now? A whole lot better. Okay, it helps to turn your uh, mic gain up where it reads on the ALC skill. Yeah, well, I didn't think it was my imagination, <laughs> but it could have been something wrong on receive on my end, but I just thought I'd throw it out there. Okay, no, it wasn't. I had <laughs> I had the thing, I looked over, and it, it wasn't moving at all. Okay, now we know. All right, uh, Rick, uh, great to hear you. Anything else for the group this evening? No, you're still 20-plus over here. Well, love these 6DQ5s. You know what I did is I, the 6DQ5 was the single tube and the first two swans. So I built four of them side by side here, and that's what uh, it's grid driven. That's what the, the 28th is driving, so I'm glad to hear it working. Anything else on your end right quick? No, 7 3. All right, anybody else need to talk to me before we wind it down tonight? K5 LYN. K7, where we go? K7, who? That's my Lima 7, where we go? Somebody else can pick up that person. My Austin line noise is too much for me. Who heard that fella? That's Mike out in New Mexico. Uh, go ahead, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. Jay, thanks for letting me in. Conditions are really tough uh, over here in the next club. It's got big time static pressure. I've been trying to keep track of who's on and what their rigs are, and I've missed about four of them. I got all the rest of them. Anyway, I'm on the uh, iPhone 701. I've got to see a 601 at the bottom. That's where a guy pull about 35 feet in the front row to find me. Beautiful weather here in this area in Mexico. And I just want to check in so when that recording comes on, I can see how I sound, uh, assuming he, he can handle it. Uh, here I'm trying to see what it's going to be. Hi, Mike. This is Rusty. WK5R to pick you up. Uh, the old 701, uh, I thought it was doing all right, and we see uh, an amplifier there. All right, appreciate you checking in from New Mexico. We'll catch you next time. Back to you, Jay. I mean, uh, Lynn. Yeah, I've probably done my thing. Uh, Jay, you guys uh, wrap it up. Uh, it's been a great net tonight. What fun it was. And we'll listen out. K5LYN. Go ahead, Jay. Okay. All righty. Yeah, good to hear you, Mike. Uh, you're making it. It uh, might be light, but you're still in there, so uh, never give up. <laughs> Them ponderosa pines make good antenna masks. They just keep growing. Uh, thanks for checking in, Mike. We'll catch you next week. Uh, hopefully. And is there, I'm going to get one more call for, uh, say, my 73. So is there anyone I've missed that wants to talk? Kilo Alpha 5 Delta. KA5D, go ahead, sir. Hey, good afternoon. This is uh, Kyle, Kilo Alpha 5 Delta, checking in from Austin, Texas. Don't have any traffic. I'm listening on a solid state rig. Uh, they're just enjoying uh, everyone's sound and uh, and uh, got it all plugged into the oscilloscope. So I've been watching people's uh, signals as they pass by. Uh, Y'all sound great. That's all I got. Back to net, KA5D. <laughs> okay, Kyle. Uh, I don't know who's tuning again, but uh, I think if I can't get over the top of them, then I don't deserve to be heard. So uh, this old set of ancient 599 twins will step out when it has to. I don't know why people have to do that. That's so rude. Thanks for checking in, Kyle. Appreciate your words, and uh, we'll look forward to hearing from you again. So, with that being said, yeah. hopefully the tuner upper is done. Is there anyone else out there? Hey, XW. Go ahead, Bill. Okay, in the net. K5AXW, east side of Jeremy Springs. Running the NCX3 tonight. Getting a little help from the uh, FL2100B in the north. Five A. 
Okay, Bill. Uh, good to hear from you. Thanks for checking in this evening. Uh, okay, this is the last call, fellas, folks, uh, anybody. Uh, and then I'm going to give it to Rusty and, and pass it around. Thank you, Jay. Say again? Yeah, come in, Jay. Got a second. Rusty, can you hear it? Hey, comment, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Mike. Yeah, I was just just wondering what rate that last take thing was on. I couldn't I couldn't hardly copy them. I could tell you doing that and I, I couldn't copy them going up to understand what rate it was on. Uh I'll find out for you. I wasn't paying attention. Uh Jay, what was the uh what was the time on there in uh uh, no, that was Bill. What, what, what kind of radio was Bill on? Oh, uh, Bill AX. Oh, shucks, I don't. Oh, rats. I should have wrote it down. Uh, AXW, Bill, what rig are you running tonight? Yeah, still moving around a little bit. This is the National NCX3 uh, that I'm running tonight over. Okay, I got it, guys. Thank you. Uh, uh, Mike, he's on a National NCX3. He's on a national NCX3. Okay, got it. He was on that last week. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, uh, I appreciate you coming back in there. Uh, anything else in the net? W5HTR. Uh, the W5H something with a P in it. Go ahead. Yeah, good evening. Uh, Whiskey 5 Hotel, Tango, Radio, and Fred. In uh, Richardson, Texas, just wanted to check in for the count tonight and say hi to everybody. Roger. Uh, you're not but about 25 miles from me. I'm down here in Wheels Point, uh, uh, kind of across the countryside from you there. I appreciate you checking in. What kind of rig you running there in Richardson? Talking on a TX4, listening on an R4B. And I am getting a little bit of amplified help from uh, FL uh, 2100B. Over. Roger, Roger. Yeah, well, the great station there, the uh, P4SB and the uh, uh c receiver, I believe that's what you said there, is doing fine there. All right, appreciate you checking in. Okay, who else for the Bonackers Unlimited uh, come now? Was he running the great there, Roger? Yes, he was running the T4X, uh, B, and the R4B. Uh, right, right. Yeah, the, he's running the like Drake twins. Yeah, the Drake B line. Yeah, the Drake C line, yeah. No, it's actually an R4B and a T4X. Yeah, R4B and a T4X, that's what it's going to be. Sorry about that. I got a flip-flop over there in Richmond. Did you get that, Mike? Yeah, right there. I got a question. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to put out one last call, and I think I'll tie the ribbons on it. Who else out there wants to talk boat anchors on the Let's check into the boat anchors unlimited net before we uh, shut her down. K1 LSB. <laughs> K1 LSB, go ahead. Good evening, K1 LSB. This is Mark in Arlington. I just, I just turned on my radio, and I saw you guys dripping down the waterfall, and I noticed that you are transmitting a double side band. Are you aware of that, sir? Yes, I am. I have a, a uh, slight problem with my HP37. I do know that it transmits on both side bands. All righty, mighty fine. Uh, Y'all carry on. 73 all around. K1 LSB, God bless, one and all. All right, thanks for checking in, Mark. All right, uh, one last call. Who else for Bow Anchors Unlimited? Come now. All right, hearing nothing. Uh, this is WK5R with the Bow Anchors Unlimited net, and we'll now close this net. Appreciate everybody checking in because uh, we know what it's uh, me and Lynn and Jay and, and uh, Guy and Whoever helps with the next control, we know what it takes to keep these things on the air. So we appreciate everybody checking in. We'll see y'all back here next week. This is WK5R. Now closing the 
this section of the boat is unlimited now and return the frequency back to normal amateur abuse. WK5R. K5LYN and 5BTM. Oh, I still hear you. Uh, what was the count on the East Kids versus the Central Electronics? Over. Well, y'all might have still beat us. I didn't count them, uh, Ralph, but uh, at least we got three. Well, I, my count was five East Kids and three Central Electronics, but that's not counting the East Kid amplifiers. Over. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes Mike KL7CD keeps a uh, list. He may publish it to the uh, the list. We'll see. But, uh, but after all, there always were more heat kits out there. By the way, you're hearing 15 watts. <laughs> yeah, Mike put that on the uh, web there, and it'll be listed with uh, uh, Matt's uh, listing and uh, the recording. Roger, yeah, Roger. he does that. Okay, uh, right. uh, can, uh, can check 15 in. watches is great for you, No problem. We had uh, and some of you on the other channel in the morning. Hopefully, if we're lucky. In so, uh, not too shabby. Copy y'all both. 73, K5LY. Uh, you and uh, you know, Ralph, we doubled there, but I got both of you. Oh, okay. Sorry about that, Ralph. Apologies accepted. Hey, I can both rub your head and rub the mic. <laughs> well, the, the net, you know, the net's over, so we're back to normal, right? Yeah, and doubling is normal on this frequency and 3,900. Definitely on 3,900. I'm shocked. There's gambling here in Casablanca. <laughs> All right, I'm going to move over here and check out two later and see if I can hear uh, uh, Bob up there on the net. I don't know if it will or not. Uh, if not, I'll be back over here in a little while. Don't you carry five hours? I finally got on frequency. Okay, yeah, I've got to do, I've got something i got to do, and I'll probably be back on a different radio in a little bit. KM5QS. Ships. 